been almost 10 years since Eddie Robinson passed, nearly 20 since he last coached. But as the years pass, his legend grows. It's because of how he lived. No question, it's alive and well. Jim Crow laws influenced whom Robinson recruited and what teams his squad could play. The laws did not influence the results. Long practices and hard work and, uh, you know, but it all came out with wins. During a time of institutionalized discrimination, Robinson excelled. Pretty amazing that someone could, uh, could start with so little and, and make so much. Grambling State sits in North Louisiana, just outside the city of Ruston. It's a small college. When Robinson was hired in 1941 by Ralph W. E. Jones, its enrollment was in the hundreds. His charge to Coach Robinson was to make Grambling the black Notre Dame of college football. He was 22 then, not much older than the players he recruited, but from the onset, Robinson took on another role. He was a father for these kids. He dealt with single parents, boys who didn't have fathers at home. Coach was just, uh, he was that father figure. Lee Fobbs played for Robinson from 1968 to 72. He was always there for you, you know, when you needed uh, that little pep talk. But the talks weren't reserved for football players. Grambling's president knows it because he lived it. As a child, Gallo lived just blocks from Robinson. It was not uncommon for uh, Coach Robinson to, you know, get home and before he would take his briefcases in, to walk across the street and, and greet us and, and ask us how we were doing. And he might have a you know commercial playing on, on national television, but he was still the same, you know, Coach Rob. Those who knew Coach Robinson say that he never allowed his surroundings to dictate the size and the scope of his dreams. It's a message he shared with his athletes and passed along to students each day. He would drive that home all the time, you know, and to make sure that everybody understood that there's there's no guarantee, but you do have a life you know, after football. A lot of guys got an opportunity to play in the National Football League and some of the guys didn't. And those guys that didn't, you know, were still had, you know, productive lives, you know, and Coach had a big part in that. His words carried weight. Ellis remembers the first time he heard Robinson speak in 1955. He talked about, you can be anything you want to be, but you, most of all, you can be a good individual. Over 200 of his football players played professionally, but hundreds more became professionals in a different field. Principals, lawyers, executives, an achievement unfathomable at the time of his hiring more than five decades earlier. Eddie Robinson was a man that believed in people, no matter what race, color, creed, and the words he spoke meant so much to all of us. Eddie Robinson, Eddie Robinson. In Grambling, Louisiana, I'm Dan Jovic.